This week, a report on foreign interference dropped, which recommended that WeChat be treated the same as TikTok, i.e. as a social media platform that is a tool or vehicle for the Chinese Communist Party. Now, we know TikTok has been the subject of inquiries and debates. My own feeling about this is that this is CCP spyware and that we should be banning it from the country, as libertarian as I am about most things. Senator James Patterson joins me now. Uh, Senator, thank you so much for your time this evening. Tell us what's the latest on this and what is the Albanese government's response to these latest findings about WeChat as well as TikTok? It's great to be with you, James. As you said, we've just handed down the final report of the committee this week, and it was a fascinating inquiry because, on the one hand, you had TikTok at least pretend to participate in the inquiry process. They showed up and answered some questions, although I think you'd be left none the wiser or none more informed with their answers. But WeChat didn't even feel the obligation to do that. They didn't even feel they had to front up to a committee of the Australian Parliament, which invited them multiple times to testify about the way in which they surveil, censor and seek to control the users on their platform, who number in the many hundreds of thousands in Australia. So we recommended some very tough things to get on top of these platforms, but critically, not any censorship, just transparency, forcing these platforms to be transparent about the content that is on there and what they do with that content and mm. whether they get any directions from foreign governments. I think, uh, like you say, that we have to keep a ban of these apps as a last resort because otherwise I don't think they're going to take very seriously the other requirements we impose upon them. And I hope that regulates some good behaviour from them. But the Albanese government has to be willing to take it up well, and there's no sign of that yet. I'm waiting carefully for their response. Well, Senator, I don't want to talk about the real problems that these apps have. I mean, it's not just sort of the brain rotting algorithms. We've seen reports that TikTok has spied on journalists, that is spyware, and most concerningly, that TikTok and WeChat, because of Chinese security laws, basically, if they're headquartered in Beijing, no matter how many walls you put between them and the local business, they are essentially acting for the Chinese state. Have I got that right? That's exactly right, James. They refuse to admit it, but these are Beijing headquartered companies who the majority of their employees work from China. The data of which they collect on Australian users is accessible in China and therefore can fall into the hands of the Chinese Communist Party because all of their employees are subject to the intelligence laws of China, which compel them to assist the work of intelligence agencies and to keep that cooperation secret. Not only that, but they can make remote changes to the algorithm on these apps, which control what we see in this country, and that's subject to the direct influence of the Chinese Communist Party. It's probably one of the reasons that 95% of the content on TikTok about Xinjiang, where Uyghurs are being system systematically oppressed, is positive. Uh, it, it tells you everything you need to know, that a place where there's human rights atrocities occurring gets 95% positive coverage on TikTok. I think it's very disturbing. And, of course, there's all sorts of other possibilities here from harming our adolescent users to potentially interfering in elections. That's all the time we have for tonight, Senator James Patterson. Thank you so much. Keep the pressure up and look forward to chatting, you with, ch chatting with you about this again soon.